You don't gotta call Daddy Papa the Sugar Bay or the Sneaky Link. Hang it up. That's just how we roll. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Sunbird Hair. They sent me another unit to try for you guys. I know I may sound a little different because you know, I got some people in the house right now. I ain't trying to yell and be all excited, so I'm trying to chill. Before we get into this easy breezy 20 minute install, maybe it was 10, don't get me lying. Okay, but it was quick. Before we get into this install, just know this wig is under $100 and it's a perfect throw on and go type of wig. Nightcap anybody? When you want to pack a wig for the overnight, he won't mind this one, uh-uh. So if you wanna get all the information for this wig and see how I styled it real quick, make sure you stay tuned for that. It is also Sip and Slay and your girl got her Wawa today because it is hot, trifling. So if you got wine or anything else, sip it up for me, okay? But for me, I'ma stick to my water today, okay? Thank you. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. So like I said, this unit comes to us from Sunbird Hair. All the specs for my unit right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. This is another pre-cut, pre-pluck wig, and I think this is my first one from Sunbird. I can't remember, but I think it is. The takeaway for this wig is under $100 for a human hair wig. Yes, ma'am. So make sure you watch the video all the way through so you can see what I think about it before you go ahead and grab that change purse. We gotta make sure that it's right. But this install is gonna be real quick because I don't feel like being behind this camera all day and I want y'all to get these deals quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Mocha 360 powder because my lace is ashy, so I'm gonna tint that down. First, I didn't go in and wash this wig because I really didn't feel like it's safe. I'm gonna do my little whole bath in a second and we're gonna call it a day. This is gonna be a very easy slay. I'm gonna grab my dry shampoo and my water. I'm gonna use my dry shampoo first, get that smell out. Spray it down with my water. Tap that all in. Let that product do that work, okay? Get that smell out. And now I should be able to pop her on my head. It does come with the adjustable elastic band. So I wanna make sure it's not too snug. Actually, let me take off my, let me take off my wig grip just to see first. Yeah, it was gonna be a little bit too snug with the wig grip. Now, Summer, <laughs> come, 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 come. Who was playing on my wig, huh? Don't you ever do that again, okay? I, mm -mm. <laughs> what is that? And whoever cut this lace, your last time. Don't do that again. Stop using them kitchen scissors, okay? I need a wave. I need some some movement in my lace, okay? Cause, ooh, chow. Get that back. I don't know what that is. It's brushing back pretty good though. I don't do a whole bunch of swoops anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip my hair up. And I'm gonna get my hairline together with my Nairobi mousse because I will be rocking this unit glueless. I mean, you know, why not? It's hot outside, less product around my forehead, the better. Let's go ahead and get that laid down. That front is real, real straight. So I'm gonna see if I can take out a little bit. Give me a little curve right in there, like this. Uh-oh, there we go. The knots are a little big, so I'm hoping I can blend that down with my products. They did send me a band, so let's Get that on real quick. You starting off a little iffy, but for under $100, I'm, I may forgive you. Mm. Same mousse all over the hair. The hair is very lightweight, not thick at all. The waves are actually really pretty. I hope the ends come together because they're looking a little scraggly right now. Because I didn't wash my hair, I am using a lot more product than I normally would because I need to make sure the hair is saturated to clump the curls out. I mean, I could spray it down with some water. Top it with the mousse. If you're looking for an everyday, easy slay type of wig, and it's not gonna break your pockets. So, you know, do what you will with that information. And this out. Ow, I got my kitchen. Brush that out. Make sure my back is where I need her to be. Okay, clip up the front. Do a little bit of makeup, diffuse the hair, and then we'll come back, fluff it together, and see what she's looking like. Okay, bring it back. So I diffused the hair all down and now we are sitting like this. Y'all see this curl? That's cute, right? That's cute. So I need to take off my band first. I'm kind of going for like a sporty streetwear type of look. Okay, 
but I need to brush back my baby hairs. Did my mousse make this stiff? So when you use the mousse on dry hair or like barely wet hair, it will dry down pretty hard, okay? Which is why mine looks like this. It still looks wet, but it's not wet. It's completely dry. It was pretty much dry when I went in to diffuse it. I only diffused the hair for maybe four minutes tops. I need to fluff this hair out a little bit more. Let me go in with my contour really quick, just so I can see how it's sitting in the light. You can definitely see those knots, but y'all know I don't bleach nothing but my white, so don't worry about that, sweetheart. I'm definitely gonna have to step outside to see how she's sitting. Y'all may hear some background noise, just ignore that, okay? Got some people working in the house right now. I don't know what happened here. This is like completely straight. It didn't get no product on it, but it's okay. Let me take off the clips, and I'm gonna just kinda work my hands through the hair a little bit. I don't wanna do too much on my ends cause it will definitely frizz up the ends and that's not what I'm going for. It frizzed up right there. Keep working it. Real easy, y'all saw what I did. Barely anything. Do I need some powder in my parting space? Maybe. So, <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bit of my makeup powder right here. Just kinda blend that in. Perfect. It's a little dusty, let me get that off. I think we are done. I need some lip gloss first, hold up. Cause my lips are ashy. Mm. A little bit of gel on my brow. Hold up, I do not like how that is looking. So let me, let me fix that. I'm gonna take my diffuser off my blow dryer. I'm gonna blow dry the hair a little bit more to kind of lift it up around this area. I don't want it that flat. Okay, y'all, I think, I think we are done. Okay, so here's the final look. I think it came out really cute. What do y'all think? Y'all like it behind the ear? Y'all like it all out? Like, tell me down below. I think I like it behind the ear. Maybe on both sides? I don't know. Maybe? If you need a wig for the, um, you know, for the nightcap or just for like, you know, a easy throw on and go, this one is definitely gonna be the one for you. Especially because it's under the $100 price point. Listen, I am here to save y'all the money. You don't gotta call Daddy Pop out the sugar bait or the sneaky link, hang it up. Now we'll say, cut the ends. See how it's kind of scraggly or whatever? You don't want the ends like that, so go ahead and cut those off. Right now it kind of goes from like thick to scraggly. I don't like that, Summer. Go ahead and make those ends a little bit more even, a little bit more blunt to give you a fuller look. I think that will help it. But this does give a more natural look because you you know, some people got split ends. I'm some people. I think we are sitting pretty good. I will say though, mine is thicker on this side. So let me fix that, cause I don't like that. I, I felt off balance. I can't do swoops, they don't look right on me. But I can do swishes. I can, I can work with those. Uh oh, wait a minute. See, I should have left it alone, cause now I didn't did too much. Tell me what you think, okay? What do you think about this one? It took about 20 minutes, give or take, for this install. If that, I mean. <laughs> It is still glueless, hold up, let me get my comb. Still glueless around my hairline. Again, when you step outside, you may need to touch up your lace, okay? Sunbur is more of a fast fashion brand, so they don't do all the extras, okay? They give you the hair and the texture. I didn't say high quality, but that's all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Sunbur Hair for sending me this unit, I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and the coupon codes for this unit down below, so if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.